Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how you can connect um, a USB pen 3G uh, provider to uh, PFSense uh, firewall. I'm using uh, in this case an uh, Alex 2C2. This is a geode uh, CPU, uh, 500 MHz with uh, 256 uh, megabytes of RAM. Here I have my my Alex 2C2 uh, my flash card with the with the with the firewall and software. I have two wireless interfaces. I won't be going through these. I'm just going to show you how you can connect one of these USB devices and uh, set this one as your internet access uh, using PFSense. So back here to the main configuration page. We start to go to interfaces, assign. In the assign, we go to PPPs here on this place. Now, I'm just going to stretch this a bit. We go to the plus sign. The link type is PPP. And as you can see here, by default, in my case, I have this and this. Uh, this means that I have I don't have any USB identified yet. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to the system logs. Actually, I'm going to do a clear so you can see what I'm showing. I'm going to connect my USB. So connect the USB. The SIM card is already inside. In my case, uh, this SIM card doesn't have any any PIN. I disabled the PIN authentication, so but you can set up your PIN if you if you need to. So you can see it's uh, blinking here. If you go to the logs, and we see that we have here UTG zero. Um, for the phone ZTE, mobile broadband K3765Z. So my interface is connected. As you can see here, it's flashing blue, meaning that uh, it found uh, the provider network. It's not connected yet. It just it's just a sign that uh, it has the provider network. Here on the SSH, if you want to have a look, you can do. USB config space dump underscore device underscore desk D E S C. Give it enter. And here at the bottom, at Eugene 1.2, I have my broadband uh, USB. So it's it's looking good. It's connected. Now. When I go back to the interfaces, if, remember when we began, we only had these two. I'm going to do a refresh at the page, and we're going to have some more. After I select my PPP, as you can see, we have a lot more options. So, this is the hardest part usually is to find in which one of these your device is connected. Uh, I found out that mine, uh, my device is connected at this, although here it says. 1.2. Here it shows 0 0.3. So this is where my device is connected. I can set up your internet provider here, starting by your country. This is, I'm in Portugal. My provider is TMN. Although this is a Vodafone card, this card is unlocked, so we can accept any any SIM card. And according to the plan you, you select here, it will fill your um, all the username, password, and the phone number that needs to dial. If you have a PIN assigned to the card, all you have to do is go to the event, advanced options and set your PIN here, SIM PIN, set it over here. So since I don't have that, I don't need to set it up. I do save. Remember, we're in interfaces assign. And PPPs. Now, this is saved. We go to interface assignments. 
I'm going to replace my I'm going to replace my Ethernet for the one with my PPP. I'm going to do a save. Okay, I have my one, and the network is PPP zero at the USB local. It's called TMN. I didn't give a description. Now what I'm going to do is well, I'm going to the logs in here. In the logs, I have PPP logs. So there's something going on here, up and down, up and down. It's, looks like it's not connecting. I go to status, interfaces. I'm going to open in a new tab. As you can see here, it shows this just to connect. This is status interfaces. Press connect. As you can see the light now, it's not flashing. This means it's connected. And here we have it. My public IP address. It's actually set my gateway. This is wrong. I have to uh, I need to have a look at this because this probably came from a previous configuration. And uh, this way it's connected. I'm going to do a test here. Let's do let's do a ping. This interface is not giving internet to the firewall. Let's go to google.com. Let's do five pings. See if we manage to get a, get a reply. Yes, we do have a reply. As you can see the by the milliseconds it's taking to reply. I know this is going out with 3G. So very easy. If we go to the main page, go to the main page, and here we have it. 3G1 with the public IP. This is my one, this is my author's uh, cards. So from now on, all we have to do is set up um, DHCP on your LAN and um, you have your, and you'll have your internet working on through the 3G connection. Uh, remember to set up the firewall rules. By default the one has this rule always uh, enabled. So you don't have a you won't have a problem a problem with this. Um, if you need to add this to a different interface other than one, remember to add the rules to in order to have the, the connection. So quick review. First of all, connect the card, make sure it appears. You can use the you can use this command, the USB dump device description, or you can go to the logs and see it over here when you connect it, it will show you once you have connected. After you have connected, you go to interfaces, assign, PPPs. Just gonna do a quick edit here. I'm gonna change anything. Change link type to PPP. Select the country, your provider, and it will configure everything. If you need a pin, set it over here. Do a save. Go back to the interface assignment. Change your one to the PPP connection and on the um, status interfaces press the connect here because otherwise it won't connect automatically. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like the video give it a thumbs. If you don't give it a thumbs down. <laughs> Share if you want to help someone. I hope you enjoyed it.